it's Stephanie with Glittiful. Today we are going to do a buffalo plaid tutorial. So I'm super excited to show you a little bit about what I do. Um, I am using two colors from our Glittiful collection. Um, one is Snow Day, uh, which is a pure white. And the next one is Sully. Okay, and these are all a part of our Glittiful collection. Um, before I move on to the supplies, I just want to thank and welcome back all of our subscribers. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So you can always know when I um, and get notified when I upload. All right, so a couple things you're going to need. So you're going to need three Dixie Cups so that you can separate out your colors. Um, this one has pure Sully in it. Uh, this one has snow, snow day, and this has a mixture of the two. Okay. Um, just, you could do the same thing. You can mix it up to be as bright or as dark as you want it. So I found that this was a really nice in between. You're going to want to have a properly prepped cup. If you don't know how to do this, I will have a link for a tutorial that I've done below. Okay. You're going to want to have the firmest and most edged brushes. So I have two. One is a complete tea top and the other one has a kind of like a pointed uh, tea. Okay. So not really a tea. It's kind of pointed. It's angled. You're going to need Mod Podge. Uh, you're definitely going to need acrylic sealant and you're going to want to have the tape. So I bought this one at Michael's. I actually found it at Michael's. Uh, I did not have time to go to uh, Home Depot. And I think this was like a one and a half. I'll double check and I'll have that in the description link. So super excited about that. So let's go ahead and clean this off and move this to the side, the stuff that we're not currently gonna use. All right. So this part is fairly simple. It's just annoying um, to say the least. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife, guys. I'm gonna be using my Cricut exacto knife and I always leave it ready and open um and so it's just making sure your lines are as straight as you can guys it's really difficult to get super straight lines so just you know bear with yourself and bear with me right I'm going to go ahead and start here and I'm using my little handy dandy um Cool noodle tool thingy. If you have one that's better, go for it. If you don't, that's okay. Okay. I am actually not going to do the bottom, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not worried, and I'm gonna just cross this over. I'm gonna go back around. over the over the top here I'm going to align my cup so that I can see where I left my little flap there so that I can make sure I'm following my next line okay so I'm gonna pull this back and like I said you do whatever works for you but this is what I've done um, that helps me with my plaids they're really aggravating um, they're very popular, but they are extremely, they can get, they're just tedious, like any other design, guys. Like, honestly, it's just like any other design. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And now you can, if you're like, stuff, I am not good at this. I do not want to go all, you know, I don't, I don't want to cut it off at the bottom. You can absolutely go all the way around. You can do this. If that works for you I tend to not have a straight line after this so I'm just doing it for you guys to see the differences and sometimes these little right here so these little tape buggers when you actually do it like that the tape will a one lift a little bit of that of this spray paint I've, I'm using a spray paint that I haven't used before and it's really irking my nerves, but that's okay. All right, 
So it will do that a little bit. That's okay. We'll just work around it. Okay. So now that I have all my lines how I would want them, you can absolutely add more, but see, it starts because you're, you're unless you have a skinny cup, but if you have a cup like mine, which kind of angled a little bit, you're not going to have an entirely straight line when it comes to the the squares, right? So you would only be able to get that if you had a had a super skinny cup. I don't have one, so I'm not worried about it. But what you are going to start doing is you're going to start taping off your bottom piece. And I'm I always start at the bottom. Now this is the part where it gets a little tricky because when you have angled cups or you're doing wine glasses or things like that, uh, the tape tends to kind of curl like this. And that's not what, you, what you're looking for, okay? So this is where you're going to use a knife, a scissor, whatever floats your boat. And um, oh, my hand is getting all kinds of stuck on this on this cup I, I'm using a Bristolian paint and primer a flat and honestly it's it's glossy one two it's getting stuck all over me like even when I have it on me it's ugh, gross it is what it is so okay so you're gonna go around and if you need to cut you cut but I, I don't need to but I am going to make a slit here where I where my tape meets and then I'm gonna make a fold, okay? The reason I'm making a fold is I wanna remember where I'm pulling, okay? Take a look at that. So this is how you're gonna start, okay? You're gonna do the same thing above and I'm going to follow where, where my lines are meeting so I can remember where, like where to pull, okay? So you can make as many little squares as you want or you can just keep moving. I'm gonna move this aside there. Okay, and so you just keep and you what your the best thing is if you need to straighten like straighten this out a little bit. For example, here like I'm have my bubbles are starting to to kind of merge. You want them. You want to create the bubble here over here not on not in between okay and if you're like I you know this is not laying flat here you cut a, a slit you lay this down as best as you can okay don't try to go crazy over this like this is cup is tedious as it so you want to make sure that you're laying that you're making this as easy as possible for yourself Folding my tape, guys, it's cracking me up here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna keep taping. I'm still having edging issues here. My tape is very badly folded here. All right, sorry. My tape was folded right at the, right on the line and I couldn't have that. That I can't have. Okay, I'm gonna pull this over. And now all I'm doing is I keep going across and I'm exacto knifing the area where I want it to be straight, okay? Remember, because we need this part to be straight, but the rest, it could do whatever. It's fine. See how I'm kind of knobbing that over? Because I want these two to meet here. Again, I've met my, over here, my match. 
I'm gonna go ahead and tabby that on. Okay, so if you see here, right where I wasn't gonna have a straight line, I made a, a like um, a fold, and actually it's still not straight, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another fold there. If anything, if I have to cut it, I'm cool with that. I just wanna make sure that my lines are straight. I need my square to be straight, see? That's what I want. I want my squares to be straight. I don't care about these lines here because these are gonna lift and you're not gonna see anything, but my lines are important. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this. And since you watch me through that first two, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys through this one. I'll have you guys in fast motion, okay? <music> So once you've done doing your lines and getting everything ready, um, just we can move on and set up our Mod Podge. So you can use it. I'm gonna grab a little silicone bowl that I have around so that I can just easily clean that up. No, you're not contaminating anything, uh, but just always have a rag or a paper nearby, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. So. And I also have a cap for this, so this is why I've um, taped that off. So you're gonna start working, this is the easiest part, because you're just gonna start working around the, the areas that are already open. Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and start, you can use your hand, it's fine. Just start adding Mod Podge to those areas, okay? And um, just wanna make sure that you don't have any humps. Uh, I am a, there's no way that uh, you're you're gonna get the, away from the humps. So like, if you had that on this in there, it would be very difficult for your glitter to lay flat. Only because the, the glitter just lays on top of the Mod Podge and not necessarily on the um and not necessarily on the glitter the on the on the base so you just want to make sure that you have no humps okay that's just me if you don't want to that's okay but typically you'll have you'll have like a little like it looks like a speed bump that's what i like to call it like a little speed bump so just try to lay it out flat as best as you can All right, once you've done that, you can leave this to the side for a second and grab your piece of paper or something to capture your glitter and you're gonna start pouring this on. I'm gonna do it to the downwards only so that I can get all the glitter that I can. I love this glitter. So this again is Sully, and she's a part of our Ultra Fine collection. Amazing, it's just a gorgeous color. It's so vibrant, um, you really can't tell how vibrant it is until you have it on a cup. You're just like, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And just like anything with Mod Podge, we are going to be two, doing two layers of this because it's really difficult to get the perfect coverage on a one on one coat. Okay, so you can tap that around. Look, guys, how the spray paint gathers my the glitter is gonna be stuck to me. I always walk around with glitter. They're like, Stephanie, you know what's going on? I'm like, oh well, I was playing with glitter today. My daughter loves it. Absolutely loves it. Okay, so now this is the fun part. This is where we're gonna go ahead and pull away at those first pulls. And you wanna be, well, always be careful when pulling tape, only because uh, tape can be a pain in the rear. 
and it can pull some of your spray paint off. And I told you I was using this Jackie tape. I'm not tape, spray paint, and I'm not happy about it, but I move on, guys, I move on. So I make do, because you're gonna cover this whole cup with, with um, glitter. I'm actually going to grab this real quick so that I can, if any glitter falls, I can grab it. I hate to waste any glitter. I have a piece of my tape that's stuck. So I just wanna see. And these are why the tabs are just amazing. Don't forget to give yourself tabs. You need them. Just toss that to the side. Now you always wanna start with your darker color first because it is very difficult to go to move in a, oopsie, I picked up some paint, that's okay. Uh, w once you start, if you start with a lighter color and you then you go to dark, it, it's easier to crop, to contaminate and you'll make your design darker than what it's supposed to be. So just be mindful of that. Okay, so here's the fun part. I'm gonna, I don't really care that this is there, but I just, I wanna make sure that we get all the vibrancy. So take a look at that. So we still have the tape around and that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Mod Podge now. And I am very carefully with, this is why you need a, a more straighter tool, well brush, because you need to get as close as you can to those edges and you need very little, like, not little, but you need to have less glue on your on your brush when you're getting to those edges, okay? Because you wanna make sure that you're getting that perfect square. So you can actually like have a nice little pocket there and then like move around your glue all around in the center and then get closer to those edges, okay? And you want to move as fast as you can. Uh, it's it because Mod Podge does dry it. I have a love hate relationship with it because it does dry. And you can absolutely wait to until your your first layer was completely dry, but it's not necessary. You just want to be very careful. You want to make sure that you're getting to those corners and you're brushing up and you're making a really nice square. And just move as quickly as you can, guys. Like I mean. It's important uh, so that your Mod Podge doesn't dry. All right, sorry guys. It was just messing up my vibe there. Okay, I'm gonna get there. And you're just gonna go all around. So follow me by, by covering up your squares. And I'm gonna put you guys in fast forward motion so you guys can see it, but you don't have to go through the cruelty of watching me do each square. in all my squares I'm gonna go ahead and grab that mix that I just did um, before we started the mix of my snow day and my snow day and Sully sorry guys um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start just adding this into the squares okay that I that are needed and I'm not moving downwards as I did before because I really I want to keep the that glitter into those squares and not anywhere else. And I might have to make some more. See, the thing is, I don't make a big batch of the my mixture only because I rather make more than have too much. That's just me. Um, I like to conserve as much as I can. You know, this hobby, if it's your business, it's, it's expensive. You wanna make sure that you are keeping your cost down. If this is a hobby, 
it could get expensive. So knowing every little trick is important um, to save yourselves a buck or two. So this is why I do things like that. I, I can always make more, I can never take back. So this is very important to me to be able to do both. All right, how exciting is this? I'm loving how it's coming out. As you can see, every time I need a switch, I'm using that tape to help me. And I have not done the bottom and typically I am one to do the bottom and I will, but I'm actually going to do that in a different color. Um, if I have, this is like giving me such a frozen vibe. Uh, the mixture, I love it. I absolutely adore how this is coming out. Giving me a frozen vibe. I love that movie. I'm so excited it's coming back, actually. All right, see? I actually had a perfect amount for this. I may have even just as good for the um, second go around. I have a spot right there that I want to get into. How nice is that, guys? Take a look. How gorgeous is that? All right. Let me go ahead and clean that back up. How good is that? Then I'm gonna have, just scoot this to the side. All right. So here's the fun part. So this is where the pulleys, these pulleys right here, cause I always have a little flap all over. I, in everything with this design, you need a little flap, okay? It's little pulleys, no big deal. Put my hand back in here and you're gently going to pull this off okay Come around and around oops i have a that came out a lot that's okay i'm So if you guys ever had this problem, uh, for example, what's happening to me right now, my spray paint, my, my cup was properly prepped. I am using a, I was using a new spray paint that I really don't use because I could not find my Krylon brand. Um, so I'm kind of annoyed about it, but that's not a big deal, guys. What all you have to do is give this a coat of, acrylic white if you ever have this problem i don't want to touch if you ever have this problem where your spray paint was lifted uh because of the paint that's not a big deal you want to just grab the color that it's clo uh the color in acrylic paint and i'm just using a uh, craft smart by walmart for this and i am going to give this a quick paint job here only because I'm using white as my next glitter color and you are going to see a difference if I don't, it, a difference in the glitter color and the way the glitter kind of shows up if you see the silver underneath. And this is just important to know for any base color. Um, if you're using a lighter color, an iridescent color, you wanna make sure that your base like resembles the color underneath. Uh, for example, like Sully, how gorgeous this blue looks, but if you would have had, if I would have put a blue base, it would have even been an even richer blue. So that doesn't make the cup or the design or the glitter bat, it's just how it's the nature of the beast. Like you wanna, that's why you're properly prepping your cup and putting it the base color, especially if you're using the epoxy method because the epoxy method um, has like a really light coat. So you're not, it's not gonna be the same. And so this is why you wanna paint, you wanna get your, your base color as best close to your glitter color. So this is how you fix this boo-boo. Not a big deal. And this dries fairly quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on a second. I don't wanna grab 
gonna get let this dry for about um, 10 minutes and I'll be right back okay guys so once um, okay so you're done you don't have any boo-boos let's move on um, your colors so we need to have this blend on top of your the darkest color and then to the side of it because the next one is going to be the color the second color so we're working from from the darkest to the lightest and we need to now we need to add this plaid so this is where this is why another point here is that you want to make sure that you have a t brush or a brush that is going to give you that sharpest edge because you are literally like making these lines around okay so i am following the edge to edge here we're gonna start like that we're not we're just gonna move row by row guys okay it's easier this way so i make sure that it's straight i'm not i'm not rushing my mod podge and i'm keeping my edge as best as i can okay i do not have I try to have the steadiest hands that I can. It's so funny. I try. And I might end up putting this in a wand. I just like the control that my hand has. We'll see. Every time I do these cups, I always like play around with how I'm gonna do it. How like how I how I do it. So I also have this angle brush right here, which is just for me to get in like these lines that are to get them as straight as i can because i don't want to mess this up it's such a gorgeous cup you would be so mad at yourself if you didn't have the straightest line that you can you know all right so i'm going to be using these two here How exciting is this it's such a pretty and I love see anytime that I do plaids I try I do untraditional colors I don't know I love buffalo plaids but you see the red and black everywhere red white and black and uh, it's cute but and or the checkered white and black it, they're really cute but I always tell you guys create as doubt never existed and to ensure that you're being, you know, that you are creating, that you are starting a trend. Don't be a part of the trend. Start a trend. It's very important. I live by that. I tell my children this because, you know, it's very different um, when you're following somebody else's work. But it's awesome when you create something and you're like, ooh, you know, yeah, I want to do that. I want to create this. Okay. And like I said, you want to make sure that the color that we just did, so that was your Sully, for, for me, it's my Sully and my Snow Day mix. Goes to the side of my original Sully, so my dark color. So again, without using the color names, I am just surrounding here my dark base with my mixture color, okay? And that's what I'm doing. I'll come back to clean that up in a minute. Once you've done that you've gone all around which I'm super excited about you want to get like your most brish bristly brush and you want to go into these areas where um, like your glitter is kind of sticking into because you want to want to make sure that those squares are as 
open as possible for your next glitter and they're not as contaminated okay so i'm just going in here it's kind of like a little it's a like a cleaning sweep here and it, you're just basically re-edging those squares back into its place okay and mine is a little beat up here but it's doing the trick let's see i have this one here Yeah, this one's more so I don't disrupt the process of the drying process of the Mod Podge because we are not waiting for this to dry so it's still tender to the touch <laughs> how cute is that Alright guys, so now that we're done with that process, and again, you just want to do the best that you can. You're gonna you are gonna have double layers of this stuff, so don't worry about it too much. Don't be so hard on yourself. Clean off your brush, and now you're gonna start with these areas here where you're gonna lay down your new color. So your next full color, okay? You want to again do add Mod Podge to those squares, make the square, you're painting this on. So really guys, you're creating it entirely. Okay, and try not to get it onto your other color, but if it happens, it happens and you can fix it um, during our second layer color, okay? So not a big deal. I cleaned my brush and it's not as straight and angled as I liked it, but it's okay. I don't get bugged out about things like that. I just make the best. Um, I reuse a lot of my supplies. It's just easier that way, guys. You want to reuse as much as you can. Like I said, this can be an expensive hobby. Um, if this is your business, you want to keep your cost down. So any little bit that you do goes a long way. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but while I was cleaning, or maybe it happened to you while you were cleaning, maybe you nicked some of that area and you have a little less glitter in one of those squares. Not a big deal if you're following your, your, your pattern um, and you're adding like Mod Podge to those areas. So you're following and you're creating those square pockets because you're basically not adding any adhesive so that your glitter goes into, your new glitter goes into those areas, okay? Uh, because your previous Mod Podge would be covered. So make sure that you are properly laying down your Mod Podge and it's going into those areas, okay? And you're creating those square pockets for yourself. Remember how I told you guys not to worry so much about the your tape? Just make sure that it is as straight as it can be because once you see this design and how gorgeous it is, you just can't get over it. It's absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. And like I said, this is a very tedious tumbler design but it is absolutely amazing and so like once you have it listed in your shop and ready for someone to purchase it it's like an automatic buy people just absolutely love it make sure i have glue everywhere i felt like i was missing one i don't think i have any glue here or my glue finished Okay, all right, so let me get Snow Day. And again, Snow Day is a pure white. So this is why I was also emphasizing a lot on my, I'm making sure my squares were clear because if not, then it was gonna really be, um, you, were, you were gonna see and peer through the blue. So I didn't want that. I wanted it to really stand out. 
and that's why I clean it. So if you have a lighter color like I'm doing, which is definitely the problem with this when you're using a light color, it's more of a challenge. You want to make sure that you clean off those squares. Now, for black and red or darker to darker color, not a big deal. Um, oh, a cool Halloween tumbler, like maybe, you know, green and green and I don't know, green and purple. How cool is that? I think that would be so cool and checkered. Hmm, I have an idea. We typically go trick or treating with, obviously with our kids, but in our neighborhood and they have the coolest um, kind of get up for the parents. Take a look at that. How stinking cool. Okay, I am, eh, I can't. Not all blue, I'm contaminating a little. Nah, I'm not gonna use that. It has a little bit of blue there. That's okay, I'll leave that to the side. All right, so, I was gonna say, let's go on, let's move on. <clears throat> all right, guys, so we are actually, gonna go ahead and start this again. So we're gonna start the same process. Let me grab my other glue here. And you're gonna dip and we're gonna go back to our Sully and we're gonna use our brush here. You know what? I'm actually gonna use my smaller brush, guys. I thought I wasn't, but I am. And we'll just have to clean it off. Okay, so you're just gonna go back around to do, to add your second coat of glitter. And we'll be right back. I'll put you guys in fast forward motion here. take a look at this gorgeousness here so we need to let this dry but if you remember we still have the bottom to do so I'm actually going to be using um, a chunky glitter it's called promise and she's stunning she's a holographic chunky mix so I actually I'm going to have a promise spread all around um, not entirely all around, but just have like some 
tidbits around the drop floating around the cup once we've epoxied it that's just my vision on this and i'm gonna have this really cool chunky bottom here so i'm just laying down some mod podge and i'll be adding promise to the bottom of this Let's see if i can i sometimes do this and it'll stay And I don't use much, but take a look at this. And I'll just spread it around. I don't, you don't need much. Spread it around the cup. Making sure that it lays as flat as it can. The thing with chunky glitters, if you don't, if you don't um, press it down, it will not stick. It will not stick properly and then when you're epoxying it's a pain in the rear so I'm gonna pat here pat around and again I don't need an in like too much because this is not the focal point I just wanted something fun at the bottom and I don't want to take away from my design so there we go and I'm gonna let this dry for, I'm gonna give this a good hour. It has two layers of um, Mod Podge and it also has uh, a lot of layers of glitter. So I just wanna let this thoroughly dry. So I'm gonna give this a full hour to dry and then we'll be right back. See you soon. All right, guys, well, there you have it. After all that hard work, we have this beautiful black plaid tumbler. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys create. Please go ahead and follow us on our Glitterful, uh, Glitterful Glitter Fanatics group on Facebook, and I'll have that description link um, in the description bar below so that you can tag us on all of um, your beautiful creations as well on Instagram. Uh, we're there too. I'll have all of those available to you guys. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. If you have any questions, uh, show me or let me know down below in the comment section and I will get back to you guys. Thank you so much and please don't forget to click that subscription um, bell and like this video. Y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.